All right, hey, welcome back uh, to our MySQL series. This is uh, the third lesson in the series. What we did in the the previous lesson was we created our first table, and we're using the uh, concept of a contact list in your phone. The next thing we're going to do is learn how to insert a a field or a uh, excuse me a record into this database. And something I want to touch on really quick here before we keep going. Um, at, at this point, hopefully you're you're getting an idea, a general idea of how um, databases work, and more specifically the MySQL database and the PHP MyAdmin uh, interface. But I don't know. You know, you might be thinking, you know, why is this useful outside of our contact list uh, example? But uh, databases are used all over the place. Uh, you may not even realize it, but I'd say 90% of the things you do on a computer is utilizing some sort of database to accomplish it. Software, um, apps on your phone, websites, etc. A great example would be uh, Facebook. I'm going to get a little personal here, and this is my profile. When we click on my profile here, there wasn't a, a person behind the scenes that created all of this here um, by scratch the page is being created dynamically based on um, a database or several databases um, on the Facebook server. All of the information I have entered in here is stored in that database in, in multiple different fields and then spit out on the page here anytime anybody loads my page. Um, and this allows for content to change dynamically. So if I went into edit my profile and uh, change something about about myself, um, somebody doesn't physically have to go in and adjust this page to show that result. It when I when I hit save when I'm editing, it's automatically updating the database, which in turn will allow the page to be correct when it loads and updated. Now well, let's get out of there. Another example would be um, again we're going to get a little personal here and see some of my musical tastes, but uh, say Windows Media Player for an example. Um, when you load all of these uh, albums and such and artists into your your uh, media player it's creating a database of these these um, artists and albums and songs it's not actually putting the songs into the database but it's putting a reference to the songs and the artists and the CDs to the database and this program would not be able to function as smooth as it does and as well as iTunes and such without a database to get back on track that's just a you know, quick example of why we need databases and why databases can make your projects um, way better, um, especially in the web and such. Um, it can make it more exciting for the user and it can make it less of a headache on you for your clients. Um, nothing is worse than uh, having a client with a static web page who has to call you um, three or four times a day when they want to change something on the page when you can create a CMS or, or a backend for that page using databases so that they can go ahead and, and update that information themselves. As I mentioned, the uh, next step, we're going to insert a record. So we'll come up here to our Insert tab and click that. And by default, uh, PHP MyAdmin usually gives you the option to enter um, two fields at once. Um, you don't have to. Uh, as long as the ignore box here is checked, then it will it will skip this if you just want to enter in one. You can also come down here and reload the page with several um, insert boxes if you wanted to put in a lot of data at once. Uh, in this case, we're just going to put in two records. We're going to leave the ID field blank. Uh, as I noted before, when we were building the structure of the table, that the ID field uh, has the auto increment property set so it will automatically give us a an ID number which should be zero um, so first name last name and phone number and then we're gonna come down here to our next record and phone number and like I said uh, ID we'll leave it empty it's gonna create this one first and give it an ID number and then it's gonna give this one an ID number directly after this number. And we'll go ahead and say go. And it's successfully inserted uh, our rows, two rows. Like I mentioned in the last lesson, a great uh, 
part of uh, PHP my admin is I will output the um, the code involved in doing these queries uh, and even here we could actually copy this and run it in a SQL window and it would do the same thing um, so let's go ahead now over to our browse tab and now we can see the records that we inserted into the table and it's starting to look actually like a table uh, if you wanted to kind of get a visual representation of a table um, in the browse view here we have some options we can delete the row or we can edit the row um, we can sort the results by clicking on the uh, header here or the column name and it will sort by first name or last name, uh, whatever. Uh, usually by default it's sorted by the ID number. Some of this is self-explanatory. This is for when you have multiple rows. Uh, you can choose how many rows you're going to see on each page. Um, this is kind of handy if you've got thousands of rows uh, or records in your database and you don't want to break your computer by loading all thousand of them at once. So let's move back over to the structure tab. And again this is showing us the structure of our table. Um, similar to the browse tab we have some options over here we can browse we can edit we can drop which uh, is the term for deleting a data uh, a column in the database um, we can change the type of key that the, uh, the uh, column is and uh, that's pretty much the gist of this screen here the uh, other important part of the screen is if we wanted to add a field um, we can do so here and let's go ahead and add a field for email address and so we're gonna add one field and here allows us to choose where in the uh, in the order of things that we want to put that field and let's just say at the end of the table and say go and what you might notice right off the bat is that uh, this screen looks a little different than the screen we had when we initially built the table and that is only because we are only in inserting one field. I believe um, if you're inserting anywhere from one to three fields at a time, the uh, attributes of the field will be displayed vertically here and here. But anything more than three, it'll it'll display everything uh, horizontally so that you can view more at, at once. So let's go ahead and name our field. We'll just call it email and the type is uh, going to be a var car again and for the length um, uh, let's just go ahead and say 300 uh, we can be safe with that you never know how big someone's email address is going to be and uh, all these other options we'll leave as they are and we'll save so now we have an email column in our database but uh, one problem we're going to have is that if we go over to browse, our two records do not have an email address associated with them. So there's two different ways we could approach this. We could go ahead and edit each row individually, or in this case we can check both of these, or we could hit this check all link, and we can edit here, and it's going to open both of these rows so we can edit them simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and put our email address in here and we can go ahead and say go it's going to bring us to the previous page and it's also going to show the um, SQL involved in that query that uh, edited the row and uh, we're going to get more involved in these queries here later on down the road once we get through the interface um, let's now go to the search tab And what this allows us to do is build a um, simple to advanced search query. And it allows us to choose which fields we're going to use to search and the operator um, involved. So uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, but say, for instance, for ID, we can do operator equals, and we could say one 
And if we ran this, it should bring back my record. Or we can do first name, and we could do equals. And we would have to, in order to get any record back, we would have to be very specific. So if I wanted my record, we would have to put Alan in the uh, value here. Uh, nothing else. This will not return the record. This will not return the record. And this will not return a record. Only this. And that is because we're using the equals sign and it's going to want a specific value. Let's use this other version of like. Where what it's going to do is take whatever we type in here and put it inside these parentheses or these uh, uh, percent signs. So if we put an L, it's going to look for anything, anything in the first name column that has the letters AL with anything before or after it, as long as it's AL. And what these indicate is a wildcard uh, character. And if you're not familiar with wildcard characters, it's basically saying just that uh, the, after the L here would be saying um, as long as there's an A L, anything after it's fine as long as there's an A L. And likewise, behind it, anything behind that would work too. Um, more often than not, a wildcard uh, character is going to be an asterisk. You might see that way more often, uh, but in this case, we're using parentheses or uh, excuse me, percent signs. So let's go ahead and run this. And now we got our row because the AL is there. And what it also did is outputted our um, SQL code for the query itself, which if you can see here, it's saying select all from contacts where first name is like AL and this limit here. This will limit how many results are shown on the page. Um, again, we'll get even deeper into the code itself later, but you can kind of see how the SQL code is, is fairly simple. It's very uh, upfront. Um, there's no no gibberish in it. Uh, a lot of programming languages are, are hard to learn the syntax because they use uh, abbreviations and and different terms for things that may not be very obvious. I consider uh, SQL or SQL to be extremely obvious. Um, but that concludes this part of the lesson, or the uh, this lesson in the series. The uh, the next lesson we'll get into some more advanced topics and functionality of a database.